What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life. As you can see, today on the table, we got the TCL 20 SE. Shout out to TCL for sending this device out. So basically, in this video, guys, we're going to kind of compact it. We're going to do the unboxing. And I'm also going to give you my first impressions. Never dealt with this device. Never seen it in a while. So let's just get straight into it. Okay guys, so as you can see, we got a nice white TCL box. It's got the phone on the front. Um, this phone should be new at black. As you can see, we got high res audio. This phone has a 6.8 inch two display. It's a 720 display. Actually guys, we got HDR, 5,000 milliamp battery. So it should be a battery life beast. 48 megapixel shooter on the back. It's a quad setup on the back guys. I believe is also a five megapixel ultra wide, um, two megapixel depth camera, and a two megapixel macro camera. As you can see, 128 gigs for the storage and four gigabytes on the RAM. So that's definitely budget specs. So let me go ahead and take my unboxing knife, and get this TCL tape out the way, guys. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. So first we present it, guys with the device so let's go ahead and just see how tcl did us let's get this device out we're gonna sit this to the side see what else is in this box nice kid clear case from tcl tpu type some book and we got a charging cable and adapter and this is type this is type c to type c is type a to type c so let's get this stuff out of the way that's what you get in the box guys um, take note, Samsung and Apple. We would like the uh, charging brick. We like more than just the charging cable. Nice case. I mean, we are paying thousands of dollars. This phone is uh, $169.99 on Amazon, guys. So let's go ahead and get it out. As you can see, some nice packaging. And we got some specs right here. So the specs, again, like I said, 6.82 inches, high res audio. 5,000 milliamps, all the same thing that's on the box. And we got this nice black, guys. It's almost almost look blue, but I like the finish. The finish is nice, as you can see. We got a fingerprint scanner on the back, guys. So let's go ahead and get this nice big phone, nice big budget phone, guys. I like these big budget phones. And let's get that off. Maybe give it a power up, see what happens. TCL powered by Android, guys, um, as I expected. And as you can see, we got that teardrop notch on this device. Um, but at $169.99, it's definitely be a nice pickup for a child or somebody that's just a secondary phone, a track phone. Shout out to my man Floss, my man Floss will say. But um, definitely, I like the bill. I like how it look like how I feel in the hand. It's got a little thickness to it, and that's probably because of that 5,000 milliamp battery. We got Type-C on the bottom, um, matching speaker grills, not sure. It might have dual speakers, not sure yet. Sometimes you got dual speaker grills and only one speaker. We got the volume up and down and the power on the side. And we got like an extra button right here, like a, uh, you know, you can assign different things to this button. So that's dope, and you got the SIM card slot. Another thing, another big thing, guys, TCL be putting these headphone jacks on these devices, I like that. But really nice build, nice little fingerprint scanner on the back. Um, we got we got a boot there, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it up, and then we can um, take a look at it, guys. And okay, guys, so I've been putting it to use, so I've been playing with it, I've been checking it out, guys. That's right, the TCL 20SE. And um, this is a niche device, guys. This is at that super budget price point of at about 170 bones, guys. So definitely, definitely a good price point on this device. Now, with that being said, there are some drawbacks, but then there's some things that this device is actually surprisingly good at for 170 bucks. So as you can see in the face, um, let's just talk about a couple of things that when you spend 170 bucks on a device, you can expect um, flagship device specs and you cannot expect it to perform like a flagship. But obviously, honestly, guys, this device 
is um pretty good it's uh, really good for the price point there are some uh shortfalls though like uh, on this device guys there is no wireless charging but there's a 5000 milliamp battery guys it does have fast charging um as far as that goes so you know 5000 milliamps is definitely a lot to play with and this screen guys um the screen is 6.8 and 6.82 inches guys but um if you like screen real estate you like watching content um this screen is definitely watchable it is a ips display but at the same time guys um the screen looks uh really good for 720 um, it is definitely a 720 uh, screen, guys. But like I said, you get plenty of real estate to watch movies or whatever you want to do with this screen. And you got a lot of milliamps in that battery uh, power in this display. And you don't have that high, high resolution draining your battery, guys. So um, that's something to think about. Um, a really big display, but it's not, you know, it doesn't have that super, super high resolution. But... At this price point, guys, um, it's a really good, it's a good looking display. I mean, you can tell you looking at it um, on the video yourselves, guys, and um, it's, it's really, really better than I thought it would be. As far as the cameras go, that's another um, aspect I was surprised as far as this device goes, guys. Um, with the cameras, you can take some decent pictures, guys. Um, you got the 48 megapixel sensor, then you have uh, a five megapixel ultra wide, a two megapixel uh, depth, and a two megapixel macro. So you get in uh, portrait mode on both front and back cameras, guys, and you shooting video in 1080, guys. And um, you know, the videos and the photo photos that I got off this device, or you get off this device, was way better than I expected. Now, as far as performance goes, guys, um, it's it, this device runs well when you're doing regular things and like gaming. I tried to play a little Call of, um, Call of Duty on here, a little CSR, guys. Um, of course, this has a Snapdragon 460 um, processor, and it, it was Qualcomm. I'm sorry, guys, Qualcomm 460 processor, and it was able to manage, but um, you were getting a lot of drop frames and a loading took long so this phone is this is not the processor in a device with full gigs of ram to do intense intense gaming um you get 64 gigs um i'm sorry you're getting 128 gigs of internal memory and you're getting a, a micro sd card slot so that is very very nice guys um but yeah, as far as the performance goes stick to the light gaming and just the multitasking watching content it, work, it, it works really good like that. Not a lot of freezes, not a lot of hiccups, but when you get into that heavy game and the stuff, this, um, I mean, you can do it, but it's not, you know, it's not as fluid as, um, you know, you would want you would want your game experience to be. But as far as the bill, guys, um, so you can see, um, we got that teardrop um, for the front, uh, for the front, got the teardrop, uh, like notch for your front facing camera. And this thing is breaking in like, uh, I wanna say 82% uh, percent, uh, screen to body ratio. Um, at the bottom, guys, you see I got this uh, nice wallpaper, but it is a nice little chin on the bottom, guys. It's definitely a nice little chin on the bottom. Um, but aesthetically, it doesn't, you know, it's a, pr it's a pretty good looking phone, guys. The bill, the back in the front, I mean, the bill looks great on the back. I love how the bill looks. I like that traditional, no, you're not getting an in display fingerprint scanner. You're just getting a fingerprint scanner. Um, and a lot of times I would want them, I would, I'm glad TCL put a fingerprint scanner on the back instead of trying to, when these phones are at the price points where they can put the best technology in them, it's best that they go with the uh, traditional technology and the fingerprint scanner works really well guys it's a really good looking phone very surprised at the, the photos i could take and the um performance of the camera guys um it, it looked you know the, the photos look pretty good the performance you know you you want to do run of the mill stuff you don't want to do heavy gaming on here guys um you got a lot of memory you got 128 gigs plus sd plus the sd card um just a, a pretty pretty decent phone guys for this price point um with the, the size of this display and this display not looking bad um i could definitely 
you know, this is a, a nice little pickup, especially for like a child or a first phone or you want to, something you don't want to speak. You want to text and you want, you like Android, you want to text, you want to make phone calls and stuff, and you want to watch some movies on your phone and stuff. This is definitely a nice pickup, definitely feels quality. Don't feel like, um you know, a cheesy or cheap phone by far, guys, even though the price point is under 200 bucks. Um, only thing I would say is we need TCL to work on getting Android 12 on this thing. But other than that, guys, um, for the price point, a decent device for somebody who's looking for um, just a simple device. They want to do some social media. They want to do some uh, content watching, things of like that, and some like gaming. But yeah, um, these are my, this is just my first impression. So, you know, we'll come back maybe after TCL do the uh, Android 12 and we'll talk about it. But this is your man, BG Tech Life. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and get subscribed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, BG underscore tech life. It's your man, BG. I'm out. Peace.